Okay, so when you want to find the value k, we're looking at this graph, and we know that it's not continuous at 1, right? So what we're going to do is, to make these continuous, we want this graph and that graph to be the same, right? We basically, we want them, we want that graph to go down so it's exactly the same right there. Everybody agree? We want to shift that down. We don't want it to be at plus 2. We want it to go down. So what we need to figure out is, whatever value this is, we know that it has to be the same. So the first thing I'm going to do when we want to find this k, and again, guys, it doesn't matter what these equations are. Take 1 half x minus 2, set it equal to negative x plus k. Set them equal to it. They have to be equal to each other. If it's going to be continuous, whatever the left side graph and the right side graph have to be the same. Correct? They have to be equal to each other. Now. Now that they have to be equal to each other, what value of x are we trying to make them equal to each other? And what value of x are we trying to make them equal to each other? Where are they trying to meet at? At, well, we don't, assume you don't know the y value. What x value are we trying to make? The, now again, y, negative 2 is the y value, but there's nothing for y. At what x value are they trying to meet at? Yes, Gabriel. 1. one. At x equals 1 is where they're going to connect, right? So, it, so what we're going to want to do is plug in 1 in for x. And again, the reason why 2, I wouldn't say it, just because you know like you're saying that because you can see it. But imagine if I gave you something really crazy, you wouldn't know where they would possibly connect. The only thing you would know is 1. And 1 is always going to be obvious because that's part of the piecewise function. right? If I change this to 3, then you'd put 3 in for the x's. Does that make sense? Right? So, so now, all we got to do is solve for k. And I chose a problem that we have to deal with some fractions, because I like you guys that much. So 1 half minus 2 equals negative 1 plus k. So I add 1. Add 1 to both sides. 1 half minus 1 equals k. Well, 1 half minus 1 is going to be negative 1 half equals k. So what that means is, if this graph, and actually, Oh, actually, yeah, you don't even know that's the y. That was the y-intercept was that negative 2. You actually don't know where that y value is right there. But it ends up being, if you had this y-intercept at negative 1 half, if you guys were to graph these two now, they would be continuous function. And that's what the k is doing. Okay. So before we go to lunch.